Hi Pisces, welcome back to my channel. I'm here to do your mid months. Um, so I didn't want to lay out your cards because I wanted to shuffle on camera and just pick up the energies. Okay, so there is one that came out that I wanted to see what theme it was, what you needed to work on and, and everything. So the card that came out for you, Pisces, is the gratitude card. Being grateful for the people in your life. I feel like, have you been appreciating your mother? Have you been appreciating all the help and support that you're getting from your loved ones? How have you been showing your gratitude to them lately? Have you been feeling like you don't, that you haven't been getting enough gratitude from those around you? Maybe you're the one constantly giving and giving and giving. And you're grateful for your tribe. And there's sometimes where I feel like you're okay with that. Like you want to be the giver. You want to be the person that people come to because you want them to need you, to want you. You're that person. And you, and you love that. You're grateful for your tribe, for everybody in your life, for all the ups and downs that you've been through, all the trials and tribulations you had to go through. It's to shape you into the person that you are today. And Spirit is saying that if if you have kids that um, and you feel like there was times where you weren't the best mother, that's all in your head. You are the best mother ever. The universe sees that. You are doing your job beyond expectations. You are the best mother ever. Okay, so let's see. Messages for Pisces. And if you're a father, that goes for you too. It's not just for women, it's for men. You're the best father anybody could ever think about. Maybe you feel like you haven't been there a lot or lately for your kids. Maybe they're older. Everything it is, everything is as it should be, and you are doing what you're supposed to be doing in your own unique way. Okay. All right, we have balance. Pisces, I feel like you have been the one to balance out your family, yourself. Notice how they're all crossing their hands like this, arms, I'm sorry, and they're just having fits and they're bad and everything and you're there holding the scales to balance everybody out. The mother, the nurturer, the father, the provider, the wife, the husband, the oldest daughter, whatever, whatever you are, you're there to balance it all out. You're there to... to it's like you you step in when you feel like things are out of whack, out of balance, and you're like, okay, it's okay. We got this. Together as a tribe, we can we can conquer all things. You're there to provide that type of love. And because of that, your family, your friends, everybody that you're dealing with, they are grateful for that. They may not tell you enough, but in their hearts and their souls, trust me they are. Because I could feel it. Okay, so we have isolation and creation. I feel like you get your creativity when you isolate yourself from everybody. Or maybe you have been in hiding, in isolation so long that it's time for you to come out and express your creativity. You have that magic touch. Look at this. Magic touch. To create anything that you want. What is it that you have been neglecting or hiding from yourself? That you want to release out into the world. To your loved ones. To yourself. Maybe it's time to start taking care of self more. Don't isolate yourself. You have been there plenty for everyone else. It's time to give to yourself. Be grateful for you. Okay, I'm going to use the healing with the angels oracle cards from Doreen Virtue to get the second row here.
Wow. Interesting. Okay, that says it all. All right, Pisces, you have forgiveness and self-acceptance. The first two cards, forgiveness and self-acceptance. Are you forgiving yourself, forgiving others? Are they forgiving you? Accepting your situation for what it is, accepting your life for how it is. Forgiving the past. Self-acceptance. Maybe you felt like you were a certain way or I can't help it that I'm like this or I can't help it that I give so much and get so little in returns at times. And I know you wish that you can do more, even though you're already doing way beyond plenty. That's when the forgiveness card comes in. Forgive yourself. It's, it's okay that no one is perfect. Maybe there's times where you it's too much for you to handle and you're trying your best or whatever it could mean. Maybe you could be codependent on certain things, but that's your way of, of mending, of finding that balance. You gotta do what's best for you. And that's what you've been doing. Some of you, for some of you, that's what you need to work on. Then we have dreams and harmony. Are you at peace with how things are? I feel like with the self-forgiveness and the, and, and the self-acceptance and forgiveness comes the harmony and the dreams. And that's... That's a beautiful thing because I feel like there's times where you you feel like you're living in a dream because you're so grateful for everything that you've been through. Life is but a dream. And you will be making peace with anything that has occurred in your life with people, friends, family members. Making peace with it, finding balance. And, and wanting to live in harmony. I feel like I need to read the self-acceptance one because it's just like popping out to me. So I feel like the universe wants me to read that to you because I feel like it'll help you out so, so much. Okay. So we have uh, the card meaning that says, You are a perfect child of God and every part of you is wonderful. Your angels guide you to let go of negative self-judgments and to enjoy being you. You see, let go of negative self-judgments. Forgive yourself, just like I said. That says it all. It says you are much too hard on yourself. And I feel like you are. I can feel it. You're too hard on yourself. Your angels say to you through this card, Although you enjoy having high standards, it's important to view yourself through loving eyes. Berating yourself only makes your spirit sink. Self-improvement comes from a positive mindset. See yourself through the angel's eyes and you will see someone who is perfect and holy of God. Although you have made mistakes in the past, there is nothing that you could have ever said, thought, or done that would have changed God's love for you. The angels see past the surface mistakes. They see the beating heart of God's love within you. They love you unconditionally and they ask you to love yourself in the same way. I told you Pisces. It's all about practicing self-love. Giving to yourself, nurturing yourself, forgiving yourself. Being in harmony, okay? Being at peace, knowing that your dreams can come true. You could be getting messages through your dreams. I feel like I gotta read the dreams card. Just a little portion of it. Pay attention to your dreams right now. Keep a dream journal, you see? There you go. 
You can more easily remember your dream by writing whatever you recall immediately upon awakening. Just write any little bit you can remember. And the rest of the dream will unravel in your memory. Review your dream journal often and look for patterns and themes. These recurrent dream issues signify messages that your higher self and the angels are trying to tell you. Allow them to communicate with you. Listen, pay attention, quiet your mind. Don't worry so much. You're doing 100%, 110%, 1,010%. All right, I'm gonna pull an Archangel uh, Oracle card for you. Here we go. We have healthy lifestyle. It says Archangel Raphael, eat a healthy full diet, get adequate sleep, and exercise regularly for optimal health. This is how you can help yourself, nurture yourself, love yourself. Love it. I am going to, if you have been neglect, neglecting your health or you are working on your health, that's perfect. But if you have it, I feel like you need to drink a lot of water, like 10 times more than you used to. Don't drink no soda, no beverage, nothing, no juice, nothing with sugar, carbon, nothing like that. Like just pure water. And watch how it just opens your consciousness. It helps decalcify your 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 third eye and your penile gland and all kinds of things like get into a healthy lifestyle and if you are already doing that then good for you I'm gonna pull a card from the notes from the universe okay make sure it's still going okay Pisces please Pisces there it is these cards each have their own separate landscape in the back, and this one is the one that came out for you. Beautiful. Let the status symbols you seek most be self-made adventures that excite you at dawn, challenge you by day, and surprise you by night. Self-made being the operative word, creator, hood, rocks, the universe. Self-made. And I love how it says creatorhood rocks. Love the universe. And then we have creation here. <laughs> oh, man. You know, the universe has a really good sense of humor. They're very theatrical, too. I'm going to pull one more. That one was pretty interesting. Self-made being the, the operative word. You are self-made. You make yourself who you are. Okay, so the one that came out for you, beautiful. Ocean waves, Pisces. It says, it doesn't get any more beautiful, any more magical, any richer, or any e easier than things are right now. Until, of course, you start expecting it to get more beautiful, magical, richer, and easier. At which point, I hope you have a really good broker <laughs> who loves you, <laughs> the universe. <laughs> you see what I mean? <laughs> they have a sense of humor. They're winking at you right now, too. Yep. They're smiling down upon you, Pisces. All right, Pisces, this was your message. I hope it helped you out in some way, shape, or form. Um, please let me know in the comments below if it did. Um, and if you want to book a personal, everything is down below in the description box. And I'll see you guys in your next video. Bye.